what a day that's been you couldn't write it finally back at the boat been on the go since uh god knows what time this morning don't even know what day it is <laughs> um yeah 75 mile after getting off the boat van decided to um not play ball thought the turbo was gone or something daft like that but um lucky enough i broke down two mile from a good old friend called kev watrit of kts racing and he proper pulled me out of the shit so um kev was good enough to lend us a van to get down and pick up the new bike and uh, all the other running around i had to do so after a bit of inspection and messing about with uh good old faithful here um decided to try and limp her back to the boat but new 600s in the back had a good day learning and getting up to speed all new software completely different ball game to what i've been used to um we've been running a honda 600 2014 plate for the last couple of years and um look as good as they are and as much money as the guys have put into the job and we've tried to get that particular bike to the best of its capabilities times just move on development moves on bikes change electronics comes into play long day <laughs> and dare i say it a few more long days coming up in the next couple of weeks but things you do to go motorbike racing eh? so ferry now half 11 another hour on the other side and get home and get some shut eye can't really call it beauty sleep <laughs> and if you do i don't get enough of it but yeah see how we get on and uh get this bike out in the morning and there she is the team's new honda cbr 600 with thanks to jackson racing i genuinely can't thank all the guys over at nc racing enough for giving me the opportunity to ride this beautiful bit of kit in 2024 Dave Johnson rode this particular Honda at the 2023 TT for Jackson Racing so I'm proper excited to get this thing crated up down to Spain and see what all the fuss is about <laughs> Only got little legs The chosen weapon, new race car. Where we get that one? I don't know, mate. Right. Yeah. Look at it. Fucking. Oh, oh no, one? yeah. Do you want to pay the excess on that? Beast. Who's driving? You are now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I spent the last half an hour trying to get out of the car park. Not even made it to the circuit yet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I can't, I can't see it myself. But... Oh. oh, way boy. <laughs> Half an hour to get out of the car park. Great crack. Right.
Morning from a cold and chilly Angelicia race circuit. When I say chilly, it's about four degrees at the minute, but uh, it is given to rise to 19 to 20 degrees, which will be absolutely perfect for today. It's, um, look at that. Not many race circuits you go to that have got a backdrop like that. Proper good setup here, garages. The track looks insane. So, really looking forward to getting out this morning, just after 10 o'clock and spinning some laps on the new 600. So we'll see how today goes. Oh my god. <laughs> 
track I've never been to before, but fantastic place, fast, got a bit of everything, ideal for testing the new 600 Honda. Um, progressive three days, made some headway with suspension setup, with the electronics, um, and basically just getting used to the new girl, but it's put us in a really good place for testing when we come back to Spain in February and into March. So yeah, going home, a happy man. Um, plenty of laps spun, plenty of miles covered. So all packed up, stillages are done, heading back to the UK. So four weeks on since we've pretty much got home from Spain, the uh, Honda has finally decided to make an appearance. It's just things didn't work out the way we wanted it to um, with everything getting shipped back from Spain so close to Christmas. So yeah, it just didn't work in. But huge thanks to the legend that is uh, Russ Henley. He picked up the the new girl and kept good care of her there for a few weeks until we were in a position to get back across the water and get her picked up. So it's, um, yeah, by the time I pulled my finger out and got this vlog finished and, and sorted, but the last number of weeks have been pretty busy with Christmas and New Year and back to work and training and everything else in between. So, yeah, we'll get back on it. Time's ticking. Days are flying by. Weeks are flying in. But there's just something about this new CBR 600 that just has that bit more to give. Um, but obviously, it's like anything, times move on, electronics evolve, and that is the difference here. Um, it really is. Yes, subtle changes with some various little bits and pieces on the bike, but the electronics package, phenomenal, and it's what makes all the difference. So, yeah, we'll be sad to see this girl go, but um, she served as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure the new owner will be just as happy on it as I was, but there's just no comparison. There's no comparison. But I just want to give a, a massive shout out to these guys, Jackson Racing, Alan and Andy, fantastic, fantastic guys. They've helped us out. They've provided us with a brilliant, brilliant bike. Um, and I really hope we can do it justice as we progress through the season. We've got some big races ahead of us. And uh, yeah, it's great to have them guys fighting in our corner and uh, having the support and the help off them throughout the year. So yeah, it's really not going to be long before we're setting sail again, back down to Spain for the next instalment of winter testing. Mm. We have a lot to do between now and then. And the plan of attack is I'm going to start getting some footage for um, a bit of a different vlog. Um, it's going to be primarily taken here in the garage. Um, and I'm just going to show you something here. That is our super twin, believe it or not. Um, <clears throat> we've got the frame away getting seracoated, the swing arm and subframe getting seracoated. So that thing is going to be a fresh build from the ground up. And I think that'll be quite a cool vlog to bring you guys um, sort of, yeah, nut and bolt rebuild the whole way through. Um, that's, that's the plan. Yeah, I really want to show you um, that side of things as well. So that's that's in the works at the moment. We'll start getting the rest of the footage together for that really soon. But the next big one will probably be Spain. Yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Massive thanks to everybody that has done up to now. And don't forget, keep them comments coming. If there's anything in particular that you'd want to see um, or you'd like us to get footage of, then feel free to let us know and we'll do our best to try and get as much content as we can. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next installment of our vlogs.